Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. Now I've already done uh, videos on how to test silver and how to test gold. Now, it's a little bit of a repetition here, um, but this is more for my benefit than it is yours. Um, but at the same time, shows you um, that you have to be careful. Now I've bought two uh, fully stamped sterling silver bracelets this week are the car boot sale. Now, I'm a bit suspect on both of these items uh, for the simple reason they're only stamped 925 in etching um, but they're bright. They almost look like the fake Chinese silver. Now they're good quality uh, in comparison to some of the uh, Chinese fake silver I've seen um, however, I'm going to test now with my acid. I'm going to gently file them because these are saleable items. These are not scrap. Um, obviously, if they come up, bubble up green, then we've uh, we've obviously got a problem here. They've got to be sold as just costume jewellery. I'd never sell something on to someone else's silver um, when, I, when I knowingly know it isn't he'll then go into a pound box or a two pound box and people can do what they want with it. It's not my business then, but I won't charge them the earth. Now I paid £1.50 for this one. Um, it's a real nice piece, little flat curb links, all uh, engraved. So it is quite a nice quality. And this one here, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it wouldn't have been more than a couple of pounds. Um, I wouldn't have paid a fiver for it because of the suspicion on the uh, the brightness and the stamp. If they'd had a decent set of hallmarks, obviously I would have paid for them, I'd be confident. But I'm certainly not confident with what they are. So I'm going to take a few um, photos which I'll splice in at the end of this little section. And then I'll set the camera up so you can't see me, but you can zoom in purely just on the acid test, on the bracelets, so you can see. But I'm going to do a couple of photos of the bracelets for you. Uh, photograph the uh, the marks, so you can see the marks. Um, and we'll find out together we, whether these are real sterling or whether they're the Chinese fake. I'm hoping they're sterling, obviously, because then there's 30, 40 pounds. There's two, three ounces of silver here. So, it's fingers crossed. I'm going to do some photos now. I'll splice them in right now at the end of this. And then... I'll continue on after the pictures with the test. All right, so hope you enjoy and fingers crossed. <laughs> okay guys, so we have the two bracelets here. I'm using nine karat gold acid to test. I find it much more reliable for me than the sterling silver. I find it easier to see a bubble up green than to just see it turn red. I'm gonna use a delicate file, uh, yeah. small file, and I'm going to be very delicate. I have my wet, um, soaking wet kitchen towel to neutralize, and then my dry kitchen towel to clean afterwards. Um, so I'm going to start obviously with this one. Now I'm going to file a link as opposed to the big piece. Uh, it's white metal underneath, but it's not looking great to me, to be totally honest with you. And there we have it. Bubbling up green, I don't know if it's focusing in on it. So it's fake. Fully stamped up, and yet it's fake. Put that down there. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. The, you look in there, the green. I will zoom in on it in a minute. So, so far the first one is no good. I'm going to file the second, wherever I put my file. There we go, that's more than filed enough. And we go again. And again, bubbling up green. Neither of them are real. 
Let me see if I can zoom in for you on both of those. There you see the green bubbling up there and the same for this one here. You see the green. And now both these pieces are stamped up sterling silver. See if I can get the stamps there for you. There's the stamp on that one, 925. And it's actually stamped a second time on the link there. And this one was fully stamped on the link. Focusing there. However, there we are, we guys. I was very suspect in buying these pieces anyway. I had a feeling they weren't right. You just, after years and years and years of buying, you tend to know. Um, disappointing that um, there's so much Chinese fake silver on the market. Um, at the same time, be aware you can actually buy a 925 stamp off eBay. So there's nothing stopping dishonest people buying a 925 stamp and stamping their own bits of silver plate and selling them as sterling. You need to be careful. Can't emphasize to you how important it is to acid test anything. Um, do it very discreetly. Do it carefully. Obviously wear gloves. Keep it away from children. It's seriously dangerous stuff. I don't wear gloves. I'm just stupid. I've done it for so many years. I burnt my skin so many times. To be honest with you, I just don't care anymore. Um, but there we have two on the surface good quality uh, bracelets. Fully stamped up 925 silver. As fake as anything. It's poor. I've lost 30 quid. Well, I didn't buy them for that, but potentially 30 quid's worth of silver gone down the chute. If you don't know how to test silver, take a look at my videos, how to test gold, how to test silver. I've done a video, um, I've tested silver plate and solid silver next to each other in the same video, so you can see the different reactions. I've done the same with rolled gold, gold plate and gold. Um, Get yourself a set of acid, get yourself a couple of files. Just be careful what you're buying. If you're spending any real money at the market or the car boot sale, take your acid with you. If you're willing to pay the price, you say to them, I'll pay it, providing it's real. You let me test it, and they do let you test it with the car. If you're paying 30, 40, 50 pound, 100 pound for a piece, and you're not comfortable, you just say to them, can I test it? As long as it doesn't bubble up green, I'll buy it. They ain't gonna have a problem unless they, they uh, suspect themselves. Obviously, um, you don't need to test anything with a good set of hallmarks, antique or anything, but when you're talking jewellery like this, um, well, to be honest with you, the reason I, uh, I'm testing it now is because I felt it weren't right myself. However, at the price it was offered to me in the box of jewellery, it had to be bought. You had to take the gamble, but if nothing else, I've paid a fiver and it's made a good film for you guys. So... I hope you found it helpful, interesting, and enjoyed watching. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate a like and a share. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, we've got over 100 videos now. Um, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. You'll find us on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. And you'll find us on our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.